All right, welcome to the webinar. Uh, we'll jump right into Bookmap and uh, start looking at the order flow. A risk disclaimer, uh, trading uh, equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for more information, go to bookmap.com, become a member. You have access to a lot of free resources there. Uh, and then uh, support at bookmap.com is how to reach us. All right. So I'm going to jump right in and let's take a look at Bookmap. Okay, so we're looking at the ES and uh, I just want to show a simple candlestick chart. Okay, so uh, we see the uh, open high, low and close of each time period. Okay, this is a two minute candlestick chart. Okay, that's the data that is plotted here uh, on this chart. Okay, now there's a problem here. Uh, this is about 5% of the uh, uh, data and information out there in the market. Okay, there is so much more going on uh, within this candlestick chart. Okay, we don't know uh, where the volume took place, uh, how much traded, uh, what type of volume it is, uh, and uh, the buyers and sellers, the majority of them, and uh, uh, where it transpired. Uh, you know, did it did it happen at uh, some of the highs, the lows, or the middle of the, some of these candles? Uh, we have a um, a sub chart. Uh, which is good. Uh, that gives us a little bit more information usually uh, in a candlestick chart. So we know that there was a lot of um, uh, uh, volume on this candle here. Uh, and then uh, there's a lot of volume in, the, in this candle up in this area here. Okay, So that's good. But it, it the problem here is it doesn't answer any of those other questions. Uh, we don't know uh, where it took place. Okay, And uh, what type of volume it was. Right. So we're making uh, financial decisions uh, based on uh, a candlestick chart, and yet we don't have uh, a, a host of information here. Okay, we don't know where the volume took place, and that's just the volume. Okay, what about outside of the chart? Okay, where? What about the auction? Uh, where are traders lined up to uh, bid and offer within this marketplace? Okay, we have none of that data here. It's dark. Right. So I'm going to layer on some information here. Uh, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And uh, let's take a look at uh, and just uh, start to uh, piece together uh, some, um, some more information and add it in. Okay? So I just all I did was uh, add here onto this candlestick chart the, um, uh, the historical best bid and offer. Okay? The green line is the historical best bid. The red line is the historical best offer. Okay. So we already have an understanding, uh, at least uh, we see the candlestick here, uh, and we can see where they were bidding and offering in that process. So there was more actually down here uh, on the second half of this candle. Okay. So we're already uh, seeing a little bit more information and understanding of what comprises this candlestick here, just with looking at the historical best bid and offer. Okay. But what about the volume? Let's go back to that volume. Uh, we don't know uh, where uh, the volume took place. Okay. So um, uh, that's a problem. Uh, we, we need to understand uh, where uh, that volume took place uh, in order to make much more informed trading decisions. So let's add that onto the chart. Okay. Now we have a much better understanding of what comprises this price action in the candlestick. Okay. Look at the amount of selling that took place here. Okay. We can see uh, with um, on the best uh, historical best bid and offer, uh, we can see big red dots. Okay, uh, they're they're uh, hitting the bid hard, uh, pressing price down into some of these areas. Okay, uh, and this is uh, this is much more information. Okay, we can understand uh, the type of volume it is. Red is um, selling. Uh, that takes place on the best bid, uh, and uh, green is buying that takes place on the best offer. Okay, so now uh, we're starting to gauge uh, the activity uh, in that candlestick. All right, uh, so um, uh, we can zoom in and, and, and take a look here uh, at exactly uh, what occurred here. I mean, we can see this pie display is giving you the overall delta of this volume down here at the low of this candlestick. So let's zoom in there. Okay. All right. This is what really transpired here. 
Okay, the majority of this um, uh, this volume. Uh, Phil, you cannot see, you cannot hear anything. Uh, the seek. Everyone else, can you hear me? Uh, if not, Phil, I think uh, uh, come back in, log out, and log back in. If I can get a sound check, and uh, okay, I'm good. Screen is good. Okay, good. All right. So uh, Phil, uh, I guess is going to uh, drop back in. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, now we have uh, a lot more transparency. Okay. Uh, and uh, you can see how Bookmap solves that problem with volume here. Okay. And we, we're getting uh, much more information here, uh, and that's good. Uh, that that's really good. Uh, but um, uh, we want more information. What about the the um, uh, the uh, the auction uh, where is that taking place okay we have no idea right and uh, that's that's a problem here okay we want to see where the the majority of buyers and sellers are in this auction okay and we don't have any of that information so let's uh, turn on the heat map here and you can see how bookmap is solving that problem okay now we have the historical uh, depth of book here uh, in the um, uh, on on the bid side uh, and then on the offer side. Okay, so let me zoom out just a little bit. Now we're getting a complete picture of what's going on uh, in this candlestick chart. Okay, we can see that uh, the majority of the players they want to be buyers down at this area here. Okay, the majority of the sellers uh, they're up in this area here. We just tested into high liquidity up here. You can see that because it's very bright uh, in the uh, heat map. Okay. We can also start to gauge their behavior when price came up into this area and the volume that took place up here. Okay. All of this is not, you cannot see that on the candlestick chart. Okay. Now you can. Okay. And, and this can help you. Uh, uh, make much more informed trading decisions here. We can understand where it's, where the volume is taking place and where they're lining up uh, to bid and offer. Okay? And we can see and put these pieces together now uh, in the transparency uh, of, uh, of Bookmap, uh, starting to understand uh, approaching these areas, uh, the volume it traded in that auction, uh, and then uh, you can see that uh, we have a little bit of exhaustion on this tail here Okay, but uh, that that tail, this candlestick, this this tail here, well, that that took place over here, like a minute previous, right? Very little. Uh, look at the insight that we're getting here. Okay, uh, very little in a, um, a volume compared to some of these big dots that took place here. Okay, and then look at the volume that that took place right afterwards as well. Okay, no no more aggressors. Okay, or very little, I should say. Okay, the sellers come in. The sellers take control in this area. Okay, and they start hitting the bid hard. Okay? And you can see this. Uh, uh, what, this is what comprises that candlestick we were previously looking at. Okay? We can see that, uh, where did we go? Uh, we went into the high liquidity down in this area here. Okay? You can see we're just trying to reach it, uh, and they're starting to pull uh, some of that liquidity down in this area here. There's some transactions that took place here, uh, but um, uh, they're pulling. Okay, so uh, we're starting to understand, engage. Uh, what is what is going on here? Price is uh, in a small uptrend. It breaks and it comes back down into uh, the volume that is uh, uh, taking, or the um, uh, the auction that is taking place down here uh, around this uh, uh, forty-seven fifty level. All right. Okay. Uh, any questions on that? I uh, just want to go over in uh, in some detail here uh, what you're looking at in Bookmap. Uh, there's a lot of new traders in here. We've had a lot of uh, uh, new webinars, uh, and um, uh, I, I just want to uh, uh, introduce all of this to the new traders so they understand uh, what Bookmap is, uh, the problems that you can uh, that you have with the um, uh, current uh, charting platforms, and the lack of transparency that you're getting. And then now you can see how Bookmap is solving that issue. <laughs> Carl, okay, um, uh, you're here. You're just here for the free free tacos and beer. All right. <laughs> uh, Bill, um, let's let's get into that. Uh, the um, how did I pull up the the pie volume pie on the chart? 
Um, yeah, Felix, the, the candlestick chart here is two minutes, okay? Uh, but the uh, book map is not time-based, okay? I mean, we have unlimited zoom in book map, uh, and you can, uh, you can continue to zoom in. So uh, let, let's just take this example here, what we were just looking at, okay? The volume that comprised of this area. And then uh, let's take, we'll take a look at this little drop down here as well, okay? So uh, the, the, the pie display, uh, I'll cover that right now, okay? I'll click on volume dot, click on the um, studies configuration, all right? And then we'll click on volume dots. Uh, and then this volume, uh, the dot display here, okay? You can show it as a gradient, which gives you kind of the overall uh, color of the volume uh, that took place. So you can see that this was both buying and selling because it's not really green, it's not really red, it's kind of brownish. Uh, or we can look at uh, a solid line going across and you can see that the majority of it is selling here. Okay, The majority of this big dot is buying. Uh, or we can look at the pie display. And this, the pie display is uh, the clearest here. Uh, it, it really gives us the uh, a much uh, cleaner understanding of the volume comprised in this area. Okay, and uh, why why do we have a dot that that is is both uh, buying and selling? Okay, well uh, that's because this um, uh, there's so many transactions that that took place uh, right at this moment uh, that we have to display it as an overall delta. Okay, and uh, I just click on the hand tool, hover over uh, this dot, and you can use your center mouse wheel, and you can zoom in. Now we're getting we're breaking apart uh, that delta. Uh, and we're starting to understand exactly what transpired here. Okay, so uh, uh, there's a little bit of uh, lag and delay uh, in the uh, uh, in the data from between uh, historical best bid and offer and traded volume. Okay, but uh, uh, we can uh, we can start to understand here, for example, the selling. Okay, that we were looking at. All right, now look at the look at the timeline down here. We're looking at like nanosecond level uh, data. Okay? This is exactly how these markets uh, unfolded and transpired. Okay? We can look at every single event that took place. Right? So we had a flurry of activity here of buying, aggressive buying, followed by a flurry of activity in aggressive selling. And as I zoom out, uh, we get the overall. Okay. And uh, you're going to see that uh, um, I'm, I'm going to zoom out uh, some more here, and all of this uh, volume here okay, now uh, starts to get, uh, it gives us the overall display. Right? And look at the timeline now. Okay? This between each vertical dotted line here is five seconds of data. All right? So, uh, and I continue to zoom out, and they, these will cont continue to aggregate only graphically uh, to give me that overall delta and understanding of the volume in these areas. All right. Okay. So I think that um, uh, answers both of those questions here. All right. And um, uh, let's take the uh, the candlestick off here uh, for a moment, and let's just uh, look at the uh, uh, the heat map and the um, uh, and the volume dots and historical best bid and offer. Right, uh, because uh, the candlesticks are, uh, uh, you know, they can be good. They can show that buying and selling pressure. We saw what comprised that wick uh, in the candlestick. Uh, but here, here's the transparency. Uh, that was there was a problem with that candlestick. It did not give us the information. Okay, uh, now now we're getting it. Uh, you can see the volume and you can see the auction. All right. Yeah, cand candlesticks are irrelevant. Okay, Francisco. Uh, let's see here, Felix. Um, you see, you trade off a of five-unit uh, Renko. Yeah, we don't have Renko charts. Uh, we do have. Um, uh, we we you. There are uh, some volume settings here on the dots. Uh, you can see that uh, we we offer a lot of different um, uh, ways of looking at this data. There's a dot clustering here. Uh, it's on a smart cluster at the moment, uh, but uh, if you have none on here, uh, you're going to get. Um, and, the, and the clustering uh, is only uh, an aggregation graphically. Okay, all of the data, every single market event is recorded here, and it's not just the volume that is recorded. 
uh, look at the striations in the heat map, we can understand the auction down here uh, in these areas or up in these areas here. Okay, we can understand uh, uh, the intent of the sellers, uh, if they really want to sell or not in some of these areas. Okay, so that's none. Uh, and then uh, I want to show it by time here. Okay, and we'll look at, let's, let's turn it into five minutes. Okay, so now what we're looking at is a dot is produced uh, every five minutes. Okay, so uh, now you can see each vertical dotted line here, I have, is there's five minutes of data between each one. Okay, and uh, uh, there's a dot on each five minute period. So from here to here, uh, this volume dot is giving us the information uh, that there's uh, a bit more selling uh, in this area compared to buying. All right, let's turn on that candlestick again. Okay, and uh, let's look at a five minute candlestick chart. Oops. All right, and uh, well, you can see the, uh, the there's a, a the down candle uh, here, uh, and um, oops, and uh, you 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 can start to um, uh, I mean that's good. It's it's basically a, a you know a, a regular uh, candlestick chart. We have a wick on the top, a wick on the bottom, and and a, and a body here. Uh, this is a very normal looking uh, candlestick, and uh, uh, we can but we can understand though. Uh, where the uh, overall VWAP of the um, uh, of the volume took place uh, in uh, with the dot, uh, and uh, that's it's right in the center here. Okay, and that shouldn't be any surprise by by looking at this uh, uh, little micro range here. Uh, and then uh, uh, we have the overall delta uh, of what took place here. Okay, so that's one way of looking at it. You can also look at it uh, by by uh, by volume dots, okay. So if I input here 500, the S and P is quite incredible in its depth. Let's input a thousand. Even a thousand is quite a bit. All right, all right not enough. Um, let's input um, 3,000, 5,000. There's a lot of lot of trading, a lot of liquidity today. All right, now uh, what we're looking at here uh, with this setting uh, on the volume dot is a dot is painted on the, to the chart uh, when 5,000 contracts uh, have traded. So it's not time-based, it's volume-based. All right, and you're going to note uh, that the, um, uh, a lot of times you're going to see the, um, uh, it, it gives, we give you the overall VWAP in the center here. Okay, that's the, the VWAP of that 5,000 contracts that traded. Okay, so it's not, it might even be outside of the historical best bid and offer. Now, in this case, you can see it's obviously outside of the, uh, or it's just here on the wick of that candle, right? So uh, we, we can just see just by, just by the, uh, the volume setting, uh, we understand that, uh, wow, okay, uh, you know, there was a lot of volume that traded at the bottom of this candle. All right, uh, and we understand what comprises that wick. Okay, so uh, let's um, go back to the smart. And what is the smart showing me? The smart uh, dot cluster setting. Well, what this does uh, is um, it it's um, it has kind of a, a a circle of influence around it, uh, and it will cluster uh, the volume and give you that pie display. Uh, if uh, a lot of volume, a flurry of activity uh, of trading took place within uh, that uh, a small time period uh, and it will paint a big dot and it will give you the overall delta of that volume. Okay, so um, as, as I, uh, there's a slider here, all right, and uh, the smart uh, dot clustering has the slider and if I, um, uh, if I continue to take it to the um, uh, to the left here, uh, it, it, it's off basically. It's not working. All right. Now, if I take it to the right, uh, I'm I'm increasing and expanding that circle of influence, uh, and now you can see that uh, I've taken away all of these little small trades that took place within here. 
right? And uh, I'm showing you the overall VWAP of that activity within this area of time and volume, right? And uh, you can see here, this is uh, just to make the point of this circle of influence. If I take this all the way to the right-hand side, we have one dot and that's it. And what this is showing me here is all of the volume within this viewable chart range. Uh, and uh, that's its circle of influence. It's everything, all the volume within the chart range here. And it's showing me right uh, where it took place in, in the VWAP. So uh, the high, the low down here, the high up here, well, this is the majority of the volume, the VWAP of it right here in the center. And you can see that there's a bit more selling uh, than there was buying. Okay, now that's extreme, but I'm just uh, demoing that so that you can understand what the smart clustering is doing. So if I start to bring this down, uh, you can see uh, that, um, uh, you know, we're, we're getting that kind of uh, overall of this area and flurry of activity. Okay, and uh, why, would, uh, why would you want that? Well, uh, let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, uh, there's a lot of traders that are, are trading on higher time frames. Uh, and they want to understand, uh, they don't want to look at every single individual trade. Okay? They, they want to look at the overall. Uh, that's, that's what they're looking for. Okay? And they're putting that together, uh, that overall volume, uh, together within the heat map, the auction. Okay? So you can see that um, uh, we're having a hard time uh, trading into this 2450 area. Right? What do we have up here? Okay. Uh, we have a uh, high liquidity up here, all right? We have a, a, this is a big figure too, okay? It's, it's a round number, it's in the middle. Uh, it's not the, uh, the uh, 2400, but it's the 2450, okay? So there's gonna be a lot of liquidity usually at these numbers and you can see it here and we can gauge it, all right? And uh, look at the interest down here now at 40, um, 48. Okay. All right. So that's giving shape and understanding uh, to the candlestick. And I'm going to turn the candlestick back off. All right. And uh, I'm going to go back to uh, my studies configuration. I'm going to click on restore. And we're going to go back to just the default setting that uh, most of you are looking at. Okay. Uh, let's see here, Felix, is it possible to see one minute chart? Um, oh yeah, absolutely, within these horizontal lines. Um, yeah, in fact, um, uh, Felix, uh, let's, uh, there's a, a button up here, time slices. Okay. So uh, this is um, uh, probably um, uh, perfect for you. Uh, because uh, you're going to be looking at this uh, maybe within your higher time frames. And if you want to look at one minute of data, just click on one minute here. Okay. Now this viewable chart range is exactly one minute of data. It's a scrolling one minute chart. Okay. Now if you want to look at the vertical white lines here, dotted white lines uh, at one minute of data, we'll start to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Because uh, you can see we're looking at actually um, uh, 10 seconds between each vertical dotted line here. Okay. But now as I start to zoom out, now I've got 30 seconds of data, okay? And I start to zoom out a little bit more. Now I've got my one minute chart, okay? Between each vertical dotted line. All right, as we continue to zoom out, you can see how this, uh, the vertical dotted line changes. Now we're looking at two minutes of data between each vertical dotted line. All right, now it's 15 minutes of data. So you can line this up, this activity up with a 15 minute chart. Okay, we can look again at uh, uh, the candlestick here. Let's turn it on. And let me go back and let me click on the candlesticks. And let's look at 15 minutes of data. Okay, and here you go. Okay, so you can see wicks on both sides here. Uh, and, uh, and this completely makes sense. Okay, as we're starting to understand now uh, what comprises this candlestick, um, 
uh, you know, the, the, that issue of uh, not being able to see what's going on uh, within the, uh, the chart with the candlestick, now we can. Okay. We can see we are trading between a range here of high liquidity on the bid and on the offer. All right. Okay. All right. Hope, hope that answers your, your question, uh, Felix. Uh, and um, Francisco, all right, let's take a look here. You want to look at some exhaustion all right, at 11.05 uh, down here. Okay, so um, uh, this is um, uh, it, we we covered this in the um, uh, in some in in a lot of detail here in the uh, educational course, uh, and I want to show you guys that. Okay, hold on just a minute here. Okay, so uh, if you go to our YouTube channel. Okay, at uh, at Bookmap here, uh, you can see uh, you can you can see the um, uh, the educational course is up in the the newly uploaded uh, videos here. But uh, uh, click on the playlist here, playlists, all right, and then uh, click on Bookmap Education Course. All right, and that'll bring you to the playlist here. Okay, so there's part one through part four, uh, and um, uh, in exhaustion, uh, we we cover it in uh, in part one, right? Now, uh, uh, Francisco, uh, you know, he's been trading. Uh, sounds like uh, quite a while. Uh, has a lot of experience, uh, and um, uh, he, he's at, he's asking about exhaustion, right? So this education here, uh, we go through these examples of uh, uh, exhaustion uh, and absorption in part one, uh, very very simply. Okay, but these are very profound uh, uh, concepts uh, in the marketplace, and uh, understanding these just in part one uh, will lead into uh, a much deeper understanding in part two, three, and four. Okay, because we start with the basics in part one and we build. All right, and in the end here in part four, uh, we're dealing with. Uh, let's just uh, click on it. Okay, we're dealing with advanced applications, confluences, and uh, enhanced execution uh, by putting all of these pieces together. All right, uh, so part one, let's just click on that. All right, part one is the intro to the basic mechanics, understanding these uh, uh, issues or uh, phenomena like exhaustion, uh, like absorption, like a sweep of the price book. Okay, or a, an imbalance uh, in the uh, uh, in the limit order book, and how it affects price. All right, and then uh, we move on to in part two. Let's go back to the beginning here. Okay. 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 Here's part two. So in part two. Uh, we're dealing with auction theory, volume profile, and, mar and mar uh, market microstructure. Okay, so we start with binary activity in part one with basic mechanics, and then we start to get into structure uh, and theory of structure and volume. Okay, and then in part three, we get into the practical applications uh, of order flow and structure. So now we're starting to look at setups. And, and we're starting to uh, piece together the um, uh, uh, how, how to take advantage of uh, this this information, uh, how to utilize it, how to apply, uh, how it can help your trading. Okay, and then the advanced course again uh, that was uh, just going over the uh, uh, confluences uh, and uh, and enhancing your execution of uh, of part three. Okay. Uh, yeah, Bill, uh, the, this is all available uh, for you right now. In fact, uh, I'll, I'll just put the link right into the chat if you want to go and visit it. Uh, again, the way to uh, to view it here uh, is uh, just go to um, a book map. Uh, you can subscribe here as well. Uh, and then uh, click on the playlists here. And then click on education course. Uh, and then here's the link. All right. And I'll put it into the chat for you.
There you go. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's go back here and uh, and take a look at um, uh, Francisco's question of exhaustion. What happened down here? Because okay. uh, some pretty pretty nice stuff. Uh, and uh, uh, and look where it happened on this 15 minute candle. I mean, this happened way earlier. Uh, and um, and you would have been able to make a trading decision uh, uh, probably here, uh, based on some of the setups that we cover uh, as well. Uh, anyway, uh, let's zoom in here. All right. Well, it's not pure exhaustion. I mean, there was some trading down here. Okay. Uh, exhaustion would be just complete lack of aggressor. Okay. No, no, no selling. Uh, we're looking for nothing occurring here. Uh, in fact, let me let me show you an example. All right. Well, I mean, you can see that these little examples here. I know this is very microstructural, but just to make the point, uh, there was no buying here nor here. None. All right. So uh, the the trading took place within this small range. This uh, just this you know best bid and offer range. Okay. It it did offer outside, but it exhausted. No no one was interested, uh, and uh, and price fell back and transpired uh, transacted uh, one tick lower. Okay. So in this example. Uh, they were hitting the bid, the aggressive sellers. Look at all the big selling that took place here. Okay? And what occurred when we came down into this area here at 11.05? All right. Well, uh, we see we see some selling, uh, but we uh, we don't see a lot. Okay. The the big the big dots they're gone. Right. They uh, they didn't uh, they didn't take these guys on here. And this is how uh, uh, this having this uh, transparency in market data. Uh, displayed in bookmap, uh, it, it gives you insight to these areas. Because look at look at what's here uh, in the depth of book uh, on the um, uh, on the bid side. Okay, almost 1,300 contracts right here, one tick lower. Okay, 1,200 contracts, one tick lower beyond that. Okay, uh, that's pretty high liquidity. Uh, in uh, in it, the highest liquidity would would be, um, yeah, it's this level right here. Okay. And uh, now we're starting to understand a lot more detail. Okay, so uh, uh, yeah, I mean, this would be a great trade if uh, if you had a, a bias uh, for the long side, uh, and and again, like um, uh, you, you wouldn't get filled here. Most likely, unless you were waiting first in line, and this is a you know first in first out market. Okay, so uh, that that this is some insight to understanding. Uh, the market mechanics, but also exec your own execution. You're probably not going to get filled down here. How many contracts traded down here? 84. Okay, we know that emphatically. This is fact. Okay, if you were the first in line here, waiting uh, for all day long uh, to for the market to come down into this area here, uh, then maybe you would have gotten filled. Okay, but uh, uh, if you um, if you hit the if if price was trading down here and you hit the market buy button, you would get filled here at uh, at 48, okay, not at 47 and three quarters at 48, okay. If you waited and you saw the exhaustion start start to occur down here, okay, into this high liquidity here, and they didn't want to take them on, and you started to note that they're hitting the um, or lifting the offer with uh, aggressive buys. Now you're going to get filled up in these areas here. You're already like almost a yeah a point away uh, from the uh, from that low here. Okay. So um, uh, anyway, uh, just to to give some insight uh, to uh, uh, the execution uh, and understanding of these mechanics. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Okay. This is a, a review today. Uh, it's Friday, uh, and um, uh, let me just jump back here. I want to take a look at uh, a couple things. And close this. Okay. Uh, and uh, what's going on here uh, in the bigger picture of that S and P? Uh, and not a lot. So uh, today was a good good review. Uh, and um, I mean, we can see that uh, we're, we're still trending up, uh, but uh, the uh, twenty four fifty level is holding. Right, you can see the uh, the candlestick chart here. I mean, we we see the buying and selling pressure, right, with the wick here, and then just going sideways in the middle. But uh, we don't understand the liquidity, and now you do. Now you see it. All right. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, where's the tea in the vegan donuts? Um, good, good question, uh, Francisco. If uh, you want to uh, 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 bring those uh, next time, uh, I, I, we'd all be, we'd all appreciate that. Be very happy. <laughs> and let's see. It was, uh, was it Felix? Uh, <laughs> yeah, or who who was it here? Was here for the beer and tacos. Uh, Carl's here for the beer and tacos. Yeah, well, that that sounds actually better. That is Friday. However, it still is morning here, so um, uh, maybe in uh, a handful of hours, I'm all over that. All right, so um, uh, looking looking forward to that. In fact, it's been a long few weeks. Uh, you know, we put together that educational package for you guys, uh, and uh, had some uh, some pretty big presentations as well. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions? Uh, so uh, uh, starting to, um, uh, you can see how just uh, a basics here uh, leads to some really profound information, okay, that's going to offer you enhanced trading, okay, because uh, uh, the problem today is that we're not getting the market transparency that we need to make better trading decisions. Okay. But it is possible. It is possible to take limit order book information here now uh, and, uh, uh, and see it in the book, but then record it and show it here uh, in the auction. All right. So uh, getting understanding here. And let's, uh, let's take a look at this. Okay. So this, this uh, 2450 level, all right. we're getting a lot of insight here just within this heat map. Because look at how these guys, although this is the figures here, right, 1,600 contracts here. And we're, it looks like we're, we're poised here to test them yet again here. It, this is an important level. Look how they behaved as it traded. It actually traded through by a tick here, okay, a couple times. Here and then here. And we see the, the, the orders that uh, transacted, right? And look how they pulled that liquidity, right? Some of it traded here. Right. I mean, we see there's high liquidity here, and then they start pulling. But there's still there's still like a, a lot of activity that took place here. Okay. In fact, let me turn on the uh, the next um, the indicator. This is leading to some of the uh, 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 confluences at these areas. Okay? And we have our iceberg detector that's showing me exactly uh, what's going on here. Like there's liquidity that traded that wasn't in the book here. Okay. Here's a beautiful example. Okay, so we're seeing uh, now. This this happened uh, rather quickly, and um, uh, but still, uh, you know, if I um, I, I need I need to um, uh, you know display this. I mean, we can see as I zoom in exactly what what transpired. Uh, but um, uh, this is uh, aggressive buying. Okay, but uh, 158 contracts traded here. Now that wasn't in the limit order book. They pulled that liquidity in this area. See how it's uh, it got dark here, right? So larger players are getting filled here uh, with a hidden order. Okay, they're not showing their their uh, limit orders in the limit order book. Instead, they have an iceberg order here, uh, and someone thinks that the oh they pulled liquidity. Now I can I can lift the offer very aggressively by just uh, uh, pounding on it. Uh, and trying to get up and through this 2450 level, and uh, there's a battle. And uh, what's occurring here is a larger, another larger player is on the other side saying, like, uh, well, you know, I'm not going to show my high liquidity. In fact, uh, maybe it was the same player who pulled their liquidity here in the limit order book, but has an iceberg uh, hiding underneath. So they get their fill. They want to be short uh, here at this 2450 level. Okay. So 158 contracts, uh, they're short. Okay. Now it's 188 as I zoom out, and we start to aggregate visually all of that data. 189 now, okay. and then 210 as I as I zoom out more. Okay. That's the added confluence here that we're starting to understand these levels. Okay, it's fascinating stuff. It's this is um, uh, you know you can see how we started off so simply today. But now we're starting to identify. Um, uh, you can't see uh, any of that uh, within uh, most of the charting platforms out there. And that's a problem. Okay. Now we're starting to get that transparency. We're starting to understand the liquidity 
and how they're behaving up in these areas. Okay, and uh, uh, now, now that, that, that solution is uh, is there. It's, this is solved. We understand large players up here pulling liquidity, but they're using icebergs. Okay, that's a trick. Okay, uh, for them to get their fill, to to pull their liquidity, but get their fill. Okay, as I zoom as I zoom uh, out here, look at the look at a very substantial iceberg took place here. Okay, uh, I think it says 892 or if I zoom out more, 949 contracts okay, traded up here that weren't in that limit order book. So these guys, these larger players, they're short. That's why we didn't trade through this area, even though they pulled that liquidity. All right. Okay. Wow, Carl. Okay. Uh, well, I guess uh, if I don't if I don't start drinking early, then how can you drink all day? Um, well, that that makes uh, that makes perfect sense. Um, uh, but uh, I guess uh, maybe I'll start drinking all day uh, in the uh, early evening. How about that? All right, for a 20, 24 hour period uh, based on uh, the starting point in the early evening. That'll that'll solve it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Sadar. Um, let's see. There used to be a theoretical average function. Uh, no, that is with one of our partners, uh, with S5 Trading. Uh, they do offer uh, basically. Uh, uh, let me let me let me uh, uh, address this uh, this question uh, because um, uh, Sardar is asking uh, about uh, some of the um, API functionality here. Uh, you can write your own indicators uh, in Bookmap, and um, the uh, uh, the way that you can do that here, I mean, there is a um, uh, uh, GitHub um, a web page as well, but uh, let me show you here, okay? This is the API button up here, API add-on configuration. Let's click on that, okay? And there's three um, trading uh, strategies here or, um, uh, you know, execution strategies here. Uh, that you can uh, engage here. Now, uh, this is just to demonstrate the capabilities within Bookmap, but this is offered uh, to you. You can use these uh, for your fills. Uh, you will need to sign a disclaimer uh, for that, uh, but um, uh, really, really interesting stuff here. Uh, you can, um, uh, I should demo these, but we don't have time today. The uh, There's a chase, escape, and execute strategies. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, you can uh, uh, have your limit order uh, chase the market by a specific uh, 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 trailing, uh, you know, stop or um, you know, a, tra a trailing amount. It kind of works like a trailing stop, but it, instead, it's a it's an entry order. All right. The escape uh, strategy. What that does uh, is uh, it's your limit order, uh, and uh, you're looking for liquidity here. Uh, to base uh, your um, your decision. So, for example, let's uh, let's take a look at. It. We're seeing some interesting stuff unfold right now. Okay, look at the high liquidity here on the bid. This is a shift in the auction. Okay, we're show, no, noticing this shift in the auction. They were down here, uh, and that's where the majority of the liquidity was. Now it's up here. Okay, and uh, we can combine that with the aggressive buying that's taking place here. Okay. There's more. There's more buying now than there is selling. It looks like to me, and uh, uh, you know, with the, them pressing underneath here with high liquidity, I think we're going to come up here and test uh, the, not only the uh, uh, 2450, but uh, uh, maybe uh, some ticks beyond it here. Okay, they they need to step it up, right? The the plan is here though. Okay, uh, uh, or uh, maybe uh, this is spoofing. Okay. We can, uh, like before, we noticed up, up in this area here, all of these um, uh, hidden orders going off. Okay, And we're seeing it again. Here's 190. Okay, And here's 83. So this is a battle. We don't, we don't really quite know yet, uh, but there's going to be a battle here that's going to shape up. Right? And um, uh, that, that is for sure. Okay, But we're getting insight. Uh, a two, uh, and this we'll wait and see who the victor of this battle is, uh, and then you can get in on a pullback, 
Uh, and uh, if we break this area, get in on a pullback and then look for that continuation to the upside. Right. So anyway, uh, my point is here with the uh, limit orders, uh, with the escape strategy, let's say you would you had placed an order down here. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, at, at this area here, if price came down and, and tested your limit order, uh, it would actually escape away because at here, it doesn't have a lot of liquidity behind it. But uh, if, um, if, it, if it occurred here, uh, your limit order would have stayed in the book. And the reason being is that there's high liquidity behind it to justify uh, your, your, um, uh, your limit order here uh, to go long. Okay, so that's a, that's a nice advantage. You're going along with the bigger players, all right? All right, and the execute strategy is uh, very aggressive. It, it, it'll read the book, uh, and uh, uh, if you see an overall um, uh, advantage, uh, one side or the other, with uh, the limit order book stacked, uh, then uh, uh, it will execute your strategy immediately uh, within that direction, all right? All right, so what Sardar is, is asking about is the theoretical average. Uh, so uh, that was a, a long-winded way to describe the API, but you, uh, uh, there's a brokerage, uh, the S5 uh, uh, Stage 5 Trading. Uh, they, write, they wrote their own um, proprietary indicator, okay? And they offer it, uh, they offer book map, right? And they also offer that, uh, that add-on indicator. Okay, it's not ours. Well, we don't own it, right? So uh, uh, you can start to understand that uh, the, if you if you're a programmer, you can also write your own, uh, and um, and you can also sell them. It can be a marketplace as well. So it's up up to you. Okay, all right, guys. Well, uh, let's wrap it up here. Um, let's see any more questions? Yeah, another another example uh, here of the um, uh, exhaustion, uh, especially uh, right here. Here would be your your exhaustion, right? Uh, we have we have nothing that traded here. Okay, and this actually tested a bunch of times, once, twice, three times. Okay, a little bit traded here, uh, just uh, just nine contracts. Okay, uh, this one's eight, and this one's one. All right. Okay, yeah, let me let me show you where you can get Bookmap. Uh, and um, let's see, it's uh, uh, Bill is asking, so uh, uh, let me show you where, where you can find this. Uh, just go to bookmap.com, uh, and then um, under the pricing tab here, just click on that, uh, and that'll take you to this window, or it'll scroll down to this this uh, uh, this section. Okay, so there's a Bookmap Basic and there's a Bookmap Advanced. Okay, there's only there's there's two versions here. All right, uh, the bookmap basic uh, is, um, is showing you, um, well, let me go over the bookmap advanced, okay? The difference between these two is the bookmap advanced, uh, you have the ability to trade right from the uh, bookmap chart, uh, and, um, and that's an advantage because now you can start to place your orders uh, in front run some of that liquidity or hide your orders, your stops, behind some of that high liquidity uh, if you want. That's a really nice advantage because we have it here, all right? Uh, and um, the uh, uh, other add-ons like that iceberg uh, indicator, uh, that was one that I, I covered today. Uh, that's part of the advanced as well, okay? And that's just one. There are there are many, the correlation tracker, the large lot tracker, okay? Uh, volume and balances, uh, order book and balances, okay? Um, and... Um, so those are the two ver versions here. Uh, now we do have uh, book map um, for stocks as well, okay, for U.S. equities, right? And uh, that's these these two versions here. If uh, it's just a package deal, you if you have already the basic in it or uh, advanced, uh, then um, uh, you can still get uh, DX feed here. You just have to pay for it individually. Uh, you save a little bit if you uh, you get this version here. Uh, with the bundle uh, and the and the data feed, you know we're not a broker, uh, but uh, we we have a partnership here uh, to offer uh, U.S. equities uh, with um, uh, with Bookmap. All right 
Now, uh, Bill, you get a 14-day trial period with these as well, okay? So uh, you can um, uh, sign up and uh, get a 14-day trial period, see if this is something that you like, uh, attend these webinars. Uh, I would uh, recommend, highly recommend going through the education course and uh, watch also a lot of these videos here. Let's go back to the playlists. Uh, I think you'll find these order, uh, order flow video snippets really helpful. Okay, I'm going to put this into the chat as well. Watch these. Okay, uh, in fact, I, I think I, I would recommend starting off with these. Okay, and um, a flip of the book, uh, absorption and exhaustion. These are covered in very short videos: five minutes, three minutes. You know, another one here: rollover shift, uh, four minutes, and uh, start to understand that. Uh, no, it does not run off of trade station data. Okay, uh, our, you know we're um, uh, working on that. Uh, you know, trying to uh, figure out uh, who we want to partner with uh, for um, uh, the equities, and um, uh, it looks like uh, a trade stations up there, right? So uh, it's between three. Uh, so far, we have a trade station, we have uh, interactive brokers, and a thinkorswim platform. All right. Okay. All right, so that's where you can find Bookmap. You give it a try, see if uh, see if this works for you, uh, and uh, go through some of the material here, the supportive material, to understand how how to uh, read this information, uh, and understand how to uh, utilize this information. All right. Uh, can the um, so the data feed stands on its own? That is correct, Bill. Uh, so you can you, you can subscribe to Bookmap Advance and then add and you, you the one thing with the uh, the data feed is uh, it is not refundable uh, that's not us it's not on our side that's uh, you know through the uh, uh, data provider okay so uh, I think it's fifty bucks or maybe it's sixty bucks something like that all right okay let's see. Any more questions here? I uh, wanted to get to that API question that someone was asking here. Sorry, just uh, let me uh, f finish up with that and then uh, we'll, we'll call it a day. Yeah, Ken, I, actually, why don't, um, why don't you reach out to us at support at bookmap.com uh, regarding the um, uh, API? Uh, and I'll send you uh, some information. I'll send you a, um, uh, a PDF uh, as well as um, uh, a link to our uh, GitHub uh, platform or um, a page. Uh, let's see, I think I, I may have it here. Let's, let's take a look. No, okay. Yeah, I don't have it handy at the moment. All right, so sorry about that. Um, and Francisco, yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I'll have to put um, uh, the cat on there so we can take a look at that, okay? All right. Okay, guys, yeah, thanks a lot for coming. Have a great weekend, and we'll catch up on Monday. Take care.